today I'm going to show you a note that I think is more recent, which really addresses a pain point I've been having. So sometimes you bring in a data. Now I just made a sample one, but this is really basic. But sometimes you have a, a bigger data set and you have a case where your columns, your column names are not in the not in the appropriate place. So you might have the column names in a row. Now, if you're bringing in an Excel file and it's a straightforward file, this might you know, be something you can configure in that node itself, but sometimes that's not the case. So this really shows you how you can easily promote headers in Nine. So the node you're looking for is called, it's called row to column header and you just attach it. And in here you can indicate where exactly your, your header start. So let's say if your header started in row five, you might see that you have four rows before that. So it knows where to get it from. You have an option to discard the rows before the header row, and you can also detect the types of the resulting columns. So now if I run this, you can see that my headers are now in my headers, my column names. Uh, props to you if these names mean something to you. If these names mean something to you, we need to be BFFs. <laughs> so this was before the, the column headers are here and now they're in the right place. And that's pretty much how you do it. You use this node. If you look at the second output port, you can see the mapping pretty much how it took the former name and made it into the current name. So instead of calling it column one, it's now ID. Instead of column two, it's now name. And it's detected that this is an int and this is a string. And we can see here also, which I think is a really good feature. You can see here also that, that the data type of the ID is a is an int. And if you see before when I made it, I did not specify that it should be an int. It was a string, but it's fixed that, which is great. So that's how you promote headers and you can have it automatically assign the right data types or at least try to guess the right data types for you. Thank you. See you on the next one. Goodbye.